A new report was just recently released about China and transgender people there in the country where China is classifying transgender people as being mentally ill. That is what they are saying in China. That's how the government officially recognizes those who are transgender. There were several interesting things in this report that I wanted to share with you guys. And a lot of the people there in China who are transgender, they're having to get their hormone medication through the black market because they're not able to readily get it anywhere else. They don't really have a lot of locations there where they can just go and get treated like they can in the United States and in Europe and in other countries like that. Now, many of them have even complained that after buying the drugs online through black markets, things like that, that they were experiencing severe different side effects, depression. They weren't even sure what was even in some of these drugs that they were taking. One transgender woman said that she tried to perform her own surgery. That's right. Now, this was a biological man who was looking to transgender transition into a woman and tried cutting off his own genitals in the process, started bleeding and thought he was going to die a man because he was trying to transition to a woman because he said that he could not get treatment anywhere there in China. Now, it's very specific there as far as gender reassignment surgery goes. They have very strict laws. You have to be at least 20 years old. You need your family's consent. You have to undergo one year of psychological treatment and you have to show a willingness to do the surgery for at least five years without any hesitation whatsoever. You cannot have one doubt in your mind that you don't want to have that surgery done or they won't, or they won't perform it on you, basically. So very, very strict rules there in China. Many people are furious with the government there, calling for human rights issues, blatant discrimination towards those who are LGBT. Part of the report also said that in 2017, there was over 1,000 people who have had the gender reassignment surgery and another 400,000 pledged that they will be getting the surgery done. Now, many of them have had to leave China and go get the surgeries done elsewhere, like in Thailand and other countries where it's actually a lot more accessible to get done there. So this is very interesting, this report, guys. I'm going to put the full report in the link below in the description if you want to give it a read. I would highly recommend it. It's very interesting. China classifying transgender people as mentally ill. Well, we know that this is nothing more than a spirit of confusion that the devil sends into these people to try to get them to change their gender because we know that God specifically created male and female. That's it. Just those two genders, no matter what people say. And so the devil has come in and he has twisted, he has perverted what it is that God set forth from the very beginning of time. So we need to really pray for these people that they'll realize what they're doing and realize that God created them the way that he created them for a specific reason and a specific purpose. But we have to do it in a way to where we can show these people love. Because if we don't, if we yell at them, if we scream at them, it won't really get anywhere. So that's the key to kind of winning these people over. Nobody, I mean, there's nobody too far gone. Let's just remember that, um, that is um, not able to come to Christ. That's not able to come to salvation and forgiveness, repentance. We've all been there at one point or another in our lives no matter what our situation was or what our story was. And you know what? These people are no different. But again, very interesting report, guys. Check it out down below in the description. If you guys enjoy these videos, please consider giving the video a like and a share. Also, subscribing here if you are new. I do greatly appreciate all of your support, guys, and thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.